Welcome everyone, this is part two of how to build a website and we're going to dive right in. Basically in part one I talked about how you need to determine what you want to do and that basically equates to getting a good solid business plan um, to proceed with. Once you do that, once you have a specific plan, once you have a specific market you're trying to tackle and you know the information that you want that website to deliver or the function of why it should be there, um, your next step is going to be to register a domain name. Now let me, let me first talk a little bit about domain names. Um, you know, basically a lot of people, a lot of new um, webmasters I find run into this problem that they actually stockpile domain names. That they'll go to GoDaddy and other domain name services and search for domain names and find some good ones, okay? And they'll buy them, buy them, and buy them, and they just sit there. At best, they may be parked domains. Basically what my point about domain names is, is that there is nothing special about a domain name in and of itself. Okay, This is what the dot-com bubble was. It was essentially people throwing untold amounts of money towards a domain name with the hope that somehow this name will sell the company, will sell the product, that the fact it's so small and easy to remember in and of itself will be an asset to me and will get me online quicker, I'll get in page ranks or higher page ranks and I'll have more users, more sales, big business. And the reality of that is just is that's not true. What makes a business successful is marketing. It is not the domain name or what you call it. For example, look at the word Skype for Skype.com. What's so special about that domain name? Nothing. But there is something special about the marketing plan behind Skype and how they put that word in your brain. And not only how they put it in your brain, but how they made up the word and told you what it meant. So now there's no other connotation you can have for the word Skype other than the company itself. Again, it's not the word Skype, it's the marketing behind what gave that word meaning. Okay, so again, it doesn't matter if you have pets.com. Yes, that's a strong domain name, but it's the marketing plan that sells it. If you don't have a good marketing plan, it's not going to magically um, put information out on billboards. It's not going to magically network for you. It's not going to magically um, put blog entries, and therefore, you're not magically going to have a successful business. So before you find a domain name or going and go and look for one, avoid the temptation of stockpiling domain names and buying up as many quote-unquote good ones um, that you think there there are. Um, GoDaddy and so many other companies make just a ton of money off you know making people think hey look at this great domain name buy it and they do now yes there are some good ones out there um, as a general rule of thumb a domain name that is short and concise and related to your business and one that is brandable is always what you want I mean obviously you don't want to have this incredibly long domain name um, any more than you would for a brick and mortar business if you had it set up in your hometown and you wanted to make a bulletin board so again a domain name that's all it is it is the name of your online business and think of it just as if you had a brick and mortar shop on the side of the road in your local community what's the name of your business going to be are you going to make it long and ridiculous of course not you want it to be short and catchy and related to you and um, you know if you can go a, a marketing route like Skype for example make up your own word and then develop a marketing strategy that defines that word you know that, that's brilliant that's a huge help um, you know another domain name that uh, was done by a large company hotwire.com um, you know, if it hadn't been for the little jingle, H-O-T-W-I-R-E, hotwire.com, um, you probably wouldn't realize that hotwire has to do with travel. You might not even type in hotwire when you're looking for travel fares and things of that nature. The reason why is because the word hotwire doesn't do anything. Again, it is the marketing strategy behind the company that drives the domain name and the name of the online entity. So, again, I just bring this up because this is a huge area I find a lot of new webmasters running into problems with is they just stockpile a bunch of domain names. They have a huge yearly uh, registration fee for all those domain names and none of those sites really produce any income because not a single one of them has a business plan which is what was part one of this of this series and that is why developing a business plan is so important it's because that's what breathes life into whatever domain name you do get 
Um, so again, the you know rule of thumb that you want to follow is try and find a domain name that's going to be relevant to what you're doing. It's short, concise, and easy to remember, and something that you can brand. Um, for example, I have a site called QuickSite.com, and it's quick without the K. And so that little mis misspelling there is something that I can make a logo around and brand that. Um, and so I can I can harp on that little nuance of the word quick. Same thing with the website. But again, even if your uh, your domain name does not have those elements, it does not mean you cannot succeed on the web. That is just false. Um, what determines your success is your marketing, period. And your domain name is nothing more than a tool of that marketing. It does not all by itself do magical things for you, regardless of what anyone else will tell you. So having harped on that, where do you go and get domain names? Um, your choices are amazing. <laughs> if you type in on Google uh, domain name register, you're going to get a bunch of results. One company that I favor just because I think they have great domain management services. I really think their hosting is terrible though. I would not recommend their uh, hosting, but uh, GoDaddy is a great, great place to get domain names and register and manage them. And uh, the link in the information box uh, to the upper right of your screen here in YouTube, if you click that, it'll, uh, it'll get you on your way to getting a domain with GoDaddy. Um, and the only thing I'll say finally about GoDaddy is that if you choose to use them or anybody else, just be uh, cautious that you know a domain name shouldn't really be any more than 10 to $25 a year. Okay, And $25 is really on the high end. Um, but more importantly, just understand that there's going to be a lot of extra services and fees and add-ons that GoDaddy and other services will try and charge you and just be cautious make sure you read all those and understand that you don't have to have them okay in order to get your domain name ready to go registered and online and ready to get a website under um, a lot of those additional services are like if you want to protect your who is information um, things like that again just kind of read what they're trying to sell you but at the end of the day all you need is just to pay your ten dollars for the year and get your domain name and another one of those options will be how long do you want to register it um, you don't have to register it for just a year you can do it longer if you have really got some long-term plans um, otherwise some of the options are to automatically renew each year for you so that way you don't accidentally let it lapse or you know lose it so um, it's entirely up to you and like I said I, f I feel GoDaddy is probably one of the best that has uh, some of the most comprehensive um, domain management services so um, that's going to go ahead and conclude this video. Just be careful when getting a domain. Don't uh, resist the temptation to invest and stockpile them. And uh, try to find one that's going to be brandable and uh, relate solely to what your market is online. And that concludes this video. We're going to move on to part three next.